the Bali meeting, uh, climate meeting in December 2007, Norway lost, launched its uh, international climate and forest initiative on pledging up to 15 billion kroner or up to three billion dollars to the uh, RED program. Um, the question I'm asked when I'm traveling abroad most frequently by foreigners is why is Norway doing this? I would like to pose the question to you. Why is Norway, the country of champions in cross-country skiing, also trying to become the, the global champions of uh, forest conservation in the tropics? The, the easy answer is that uh, forests are extremely important and someone had to do it. Uh, so we did it. Uh, a more complex answer is, of course, that um, Norway, we have been uh, heavily involved in fighting climate change for some time. Uh, we are doing a lot uh, at home in Norway. Uh, we've been working with the negotiations for a long time. Uh, but we are also very uh, committed to identifying <coughs> cost-efficient, quick-working uh, mitigations or, or uh, reductions in, in uh, 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 CO2 emissions. And, uh, we knew that forests was one of the vital issues uh, and forests also were important for are, are important for biodiversity and for people uh, living in the rainforest so uh, well, the, we came up with the initiative and we uh, we are very satisfied with what we have done so far i mean red many has perceived it as a good idea as you said it's it's among the many mitigation options is cheap and some of the reforms needed can be done rather swiftly as, as done in, in Brazil and Indonesia, for example, changing land use planning. But there are also enormous challenges involved. Uh, what do you see as the major challenges in trying to implement a good idea as RED is? Uh, well, one challenge is that it, it's, of course, very complex. Uh, the, the forest sector uh, is uh, interconnects with other sectors in society in countries like Brazil and Indonesia, other countries. Uh, it's about uh, uh, land use and uh, agriculture. It's about uh, building up roads and infrastructure. It's connected to, for instance, in Indonesia, to palm oil, uh, to different industries. So, so you touch upon very strong interests in these countries. Secondly, uh, quite a few countries have uh, weak institutions and the, the debate on forests uh, have been, for, uh, at least in the past, mostly about uh, how to, uh, to cut trees to actually earn money by cutting trees. And it's, it's a new t kind of debate, finding ways to, to uh, uh, valuing trees standing, not uh, being cut down. So it's an it's a intellectual challenge, it's an institutional challenge, and, and you touch upon very significant interests. So you want to make uh, a living, a live tree more valuable than a dead tree. Um, implementing this kind of result-based payments that if you do conserve the forest, you are being paid, that's the ultimate goal. But, but has major challenges. At the same time, we also see that, that uh, a lot of red now is, is part of the aid program, like two thirds of the money for, for, aid, uh, for, for red is from aid budgets. And that has also led to, uh, to the red program having more diverse objectives, including poverty, biodiversity, indigenous rights. And some of the critique I hear is that some are nervous about red being kind of pulverized and not as focused. At, on the other hand, you need to have this broad political support and include many of these very good objectives. So how do you see this balance of being kind of focused on emission reductions on the one hand, at the same time being broad to, to have the necessary political support? How, how are we going to find that balance between these two considerations? Let me first be very clear that, uh, that Norway's initiative has as its main focus uh, to uh, fight climate change through deforestation. Uh, but it's important to understand that deforesta uh, reduced uh, deforestation in itself 
has uh, several positive effects. It, uh, it's positive because uh, it reduces uh, uh, CO2 emission and fights climate change, but it's also positive for biodiversity. And in uh, many areas, it's positive for people because you can provide alternative livelihood. So it's not about making compromises, it's about uh, the main objective itself being positive on several accounts. Do you um, foresee that, uh, that the big money that Norway has given to Brazil, Indonesia in particular, the one billion contract uh, to each of the two countries, uh, what kind of changes have you seen in, well, particularly these two countries? Uh, has the one billion dollar promised by Norway made to any major changes in the two countries? First of all, I think we have to say that those who really are in line here are the, uh, the governments of Brazil and Indonesia. They are the ones who really done the job and made uh, brave uh, uh, visions uh, and uh, decisions. And for instance, when it comes to Brazil, their reduction in deforestation is probably the biggest and most efficient uh, effort fighting climate change globally. And uh, President Yodoyonu's uh, uh, climate uh, or CO2 emission uh, targets are extremely courageous. Uh, what we have contributed is a way of thinking that is result-based and, uh, and a way of thinking that is uh, we are partners. We are both investing something. We, they expect results from us in terms of payments. We expect results in terms of reduced deforestation. And it's a different way of thinking. We are, we are uh, contributing, but they are doing the real uh, important job. You became Minister of Environment just two, three months ago. and, and a few people have asked me, are we going to see some changes in uh, the Norwegian position on RED internationally? Do you have any new directions that you will take the Norwegian RED initiative for the next few months or years? I think my main message there is that Norway will be a consistent and long-lasting partner of Brazil, of Indonesia, Guyana and Ethiopia and other countries but also uh, a consistent partner for uh, other countries that will wish to bring uh, the issue of forests closer into climate niche negotiations and, and uh, to, to bring up more coordinated efforts. So, I mean, ministers will come and go, presidents will come and go, uh, things will change in countries, but this is too important to, to be uh, depending on one single person, whether it be in Norway or Indonesia or any other country. A lot of the debate over the next two, three years will be to hopefully get a new climate agreement by 2015. And one of the issues that causes some disagreement among both researchers, NGOs and others is whether RED should be included as an offsetting option that Norway and other countries can meet some of their international targets by buying red credits from, from uh, developing countries. What's your position on that? I think it's too easy to say exactly how uh, we should implement Red Plus in, in a broader uh, climate agreement. We do have an agreement now internationally that it should be part of a future agreement. That is important. Uh, we also believe that we should look for different mechanisms a ways of raising money to actually pay for uh, reduced deforestation to create a demand for uh, uh, for uh, payments for reduced deforestation this could be through carbon markets or through other innovative mechanisms and we will be working with other countries on establishing this I think the most important thing is uh, red plus and for uh, reduced deforestation is could play a real difference, in not, especially in the years up to 2020, before a new agreement is in place. And, and we, will, we will have a pragmatic view on how this should be uh, uh, done. 
until that time when RED has become part of a new climate agreement, do you expect the Norwegian support to RED to, to be at roughly the same level as it is today? Yes, we will continue to work uh, with RED+. Plus. Uh, our uh, efforts will go beyond 2015 also. Exactly how much money and exactly uh, how it will work, we, uh, well, we, we have to, uh, to take some time to look at that. But uh, we will surely uh, continue our work through Red Plus. We will uh, be eager to, uh, to uh, get new partners, uh, also new donors, and to create a more coordinated effort uh, internationally. Thank you.